What an incredibly courageous man, Ivan, forgiving the person who abused him, someone who not only abused him, but set his life on a totally different path with alcoholism and destruction. And you know, I gotta say, sometimes as humans, we judge the symptoms, we judge the exterior. We go, oh, that person's an alcoholic, or that person's depressed, or suicidal, or violent, or whatever, but we don't actually know where that came from, and we need to stop it. We need to stop judging. And we need to, to ask God to give us eyes to see as he sees, because he looks inside every one of us, no matter what you've done. And he says, you're my child. You're created in my image. I love you. I want relationship. I want to restore you. Do you want to be restored today? Do you want to repent for the times that you've judged without knowing the full story? Let's just get right. Let's just get clean. Let's get rid of all that stuff we've been carrying. We, you can do it today. That's why we're here. Give our prayer lanes a call. Let's make it happen. That number is 1-866-273-4444. Today could be the beginning of a new journey for you. While we are passionate about telling stories of the First Peoples of Canada, giving them a platform, we find that so, so many times the media can be so negative. And there's so many heroes, there's so many amazing things that God is doing in and through that community. One of the people who tells those amazing stories is our First Peoples Voices associate producer, Crystal Lavalley. You are going across Canada. You're meeting with First Peoples. You are also a First People yourself. Yeah. You're a Métis. Yes. Tell me what you're hearing as you're talking to people across this country. Um, we're hearing uh, people share their, their tragedy, not just one or two or three or even four tragedies, but decades of abuse and mistreatment. And the crazy thing is, is that when you're sitting there in front of them asking the questions, they're literally telling you their authenticity. They're, they're telling you, I've come through my tragedy. I haven't just made it through, but I'm now filled with joy and hope and purpose. And I think those are the things that really impact me when we go out onto the field. And I said, that's what makes me work really hard to get those stories out. Because if they've impacted us as a team, then they're definitely gonna impact others, especially those in the community. And I just, it's so, um, the stories are so strong because they're so real. Mm. And um, you can't deny the fact that God has been their hope. You can't deny the fact that God has been their strength. And um, he's literally plucked them up and turned them around and set them on a different course. And that's just one, one story. Ivan is one story of many. Mm. So inspiring. You're actually working on a story right now. Yep. Tell me about that. We're right. In process. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday we were, I was working on this story and uh, it's Audrey Dillon. Um, she came through uh, a lot of, uh, well, actually she lost a baby and that's what sent her down a, a downward spiral. And she said it was the pain in her that caused her to, to go into the lifestyle that she, she did. And we actually pieced a little clip together about what she talks about. Okay, let's take a look at that right now. I lived in garages. Uh, I was a drug addict, uh, crystal, meth, uh, cocaine, whatever I could get my hands on, marijuana. There's no more, no more drugs, no more alcohol. God totally delivered me. There's an answer and that if you turn your heart over to God and you really mean it, he will come through for you. He will. We need to hear that. You turn it over to God, he'll come through to you, for you. And you're hearing that everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, you've got, you've got stories, Tommy Baird up in South End. There's a champion on the inside of our first peoples. And he said, it's time for that champion to come out. And I believe that this is just the beginning of what we're going to see across Canada from the first peoples of Canada. These resilient stories of hope and healing and strength because of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. I really believe he's stirring something in the First Peoples of this land. You know, there's been a history between the church and First Peoples, between the government and First Peoples that's been very painful and destructive. But it is not only a season of healing, but it's a season of calling and destiny. And I believe they have a destiny in Canada. We want to be part of that. That's why we're doing this. Right. Okay, wait, before we move on, though, I'm, yeah. we're getting too excited. There's more to her story, yes. right? So, <laughs> so I, whenever we go into these remote communities, when we spend the money, we take our team, we go there. It's so awesome because they say to us, why would Crossroads come? And I said, it's not Crossroads, it's people across the nation that have sewed into what we are doing and it's the nation of Canada bringing healing to the First Peoples. And so Audrey so shares exciting. her thanks. So that's the... Okay, let's, so excited. Let's take a look at that right now. <laughs> I'd really like to thank 100 Huntley Street for being who they are, being the institution that they are. In my eyes, you are. Um, for all the blessings that uh, you've been bringing to my community. And that's a thank you to you, as Crystal said. This is not something that we're doing. You are been so generously funding this and saying, yeah, this matters, that we are not 
any more a force of destruction, but a force of healing. What is your vision of wh what we could be together across Canada? Well, I keep seeing just the, from from Huntley Street these little you know uh, communication lines that are going across the country. And every time we sow twenty bucks, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, thousand dollars, every time we sow, it's going towards advancing this hope gospel of grace, gospel of Jesus, who's the one who's able to actually transform from the inside out. And that's what I see, an army of Canadians across the country helping our first people so that they can lead the way and bring healing to the nation of Canada. Okay, so look into the camera. <laughs> Why should people give right now? They're, they're looking at you, they're going, Crystal, tell me, come on. Okay, so we <laughs> should, you should give because we've got a generation all across the nation um, of people who are hurt and broken still, there's a lot of work that we still need to do. But when you give, when you sow, it's coming into that opposite spirit of generosity that's gonna transform our country, it's gonna transform lives, and that's what we're in the business of doing. So when you sow your $10, whatever you're sowing, when you sow that, it's bringing transformation, and that's eternal rewards in heaven, treasures in heaven. You cannot go wrong. And you know what? This isn't a first people's <laughs> problem. It isn't a rest of Canada problem. It's a people problem. Every single one of us needs healing. We need God. Without him, we are broken, and we want to bring that news coast to coast to coast. We want to invest in young, passionate people like Crystal and give them a chance to raise up their voice, that next generation, what, what people did for me, why I'm standing right here. So will you be a part of that? Do you want to see healing? Do you want to see a new story, a new narrative? Of being yes. written in Canada. You can. All you have to do right now is pick up the phone. 1-800-265-3100. You can go to crossroads.ca slash believe. People tell me that people across Canada don't care about First Peoples. I do not believe that is true. The heart of God is for people. Yes. Do you want to make a change across Let's Canada? Pick up it. the phone right now. We have a big challenge. Kevin's going to tell you more about it. Kevin?